Good morning, everybody. Josh Jr. here. Well, we've had an issue last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break away and show you some footage from last night. And you can see what we went through. Fun stuff. Not. <laughs> a fun way to spend an evening. I think my night is shot. Fifteen minutes later, after my initial finding of this in my first call to 911, um, nothing's happened. We're still sitting here watching all of this this big hole getting filled up and our fence getting uh, deteriorated. 911 said they're on their way. No, they're not because the Paul City Fire Department is almost eyesight from here. Somebody finally right here. Now that you see saw what happened, see what's behind me here. They're going to be digging this out. And some of the issue is here, you see, a big old nice hole down here. Look down there. service pipe going to the fire hydrant blue. So, it is what it is. I'm just hoping that they, they're going to dig out that plant. Good. He said he was going to originally put this right in the middle of the plant there, but he found a spot to do it. But yeah, look at that mess. Oh well. They're out here bright early this morning trying to get this thing fixed because everybody's out without water right now, including us. So I'll show you some video, some more footage here real soon of uh, the big hole that they're going to dig. Well, the city guys are taking a break, having to go get a piece of pipe to cut to size to replace the what they had to take out. But here's the problem, is that the supply line to the fire hydrant blew. That's where it blew at. 
So, but they had to take cut that out. And this is what they're dealing with. Not a fun experience. So in our front yard here, we do have a nice big hole. It'll get fixed. It won't be perfect, but it'll get fixed. Something I'll work on over time to get it, get it back to better. Because I have to always keep in mind that this splice is down here. And there's another spot further up that had a splice on it and it leaked. So they had to come back and dig it all out. So I'm always going to keep in mind that this may have to get dug out again sometime in the future. <laughs> hey, a clean spot on my fence. Imagine that. So there you go. Part of the progress. Well, the hole is patched, and uh, we'll have water here pretty soon, but this is what we got so far. So here within the next couple of hours, we'll have water, and life will be good. This hole's going to stay here for a few days, because of the fire hydrant now being gone, it's going to get relocated, and they think they just want to leave this open for a few days, which is fine. It'll be done soon enough, but we didn't have too much damage. A little flower bed kind of got washed around, and some, uh, it's just not too bad. It could have been worse. The fence post is still tight. But it's all good for right now. Hey everyone. Well, it's been a long day. Uh, the water main got fixed. I'll take you down there show you what the end result is. Uh, also, it was a busy day. Had to finish, uh, get our wood. We got a half a cord yesterday, which is right here. Not much. But then, we had... We have this here that we just got done picking up. Mostly maple, a little bit of oak, a little bit of fir. That other pile over there is pretty much all uh, oak. So, other than that, it's been a long day. It's been a really long day. Um, hardly any sleep last night because I didn't get to sleep last night until, oh, three in the morning and the city crew was out here at 6 30 this morning which you saw most of and after having some arguments with the city um, finally got it fixed but no cost to me because it's all city property it was all on the city pipe and everything else like that we just had like I showed you earlier we just had a little bit of damage a little bit of wash away. Nothing too spectacular. So here's what we're left with for right now. And what they're going to do is that they're going to move the fire hydrant that used to be here. And when they get done moving it, it's going to be down here at the corner, just on the other side of that green strip probably. But plans will change. But for now, this is what we have. Uh, they'll come back in here and backfill this in with gravel. And then the dirt they took out of here, they've got it stored down there on the city lot. And they'll come back in here and really fill this up with the dirt so we can push it around up behind the fence and things like that. And that post, surprisingly, is still nice and solid. And so is that one there. So when they come in here and backfill it with gravel, they said they'll go ahead and pack some gravel in real tight around that to help it out to make sure and then we'll just seed it throw some grass clippings over it and probably throw some seed over some of this other area too 
granted, we don't have to do anything with it because it is city city property, but we do try to make it look nice because we do like our flowers. We do like our flowers. And here's a few more of our flowers. Our rhodes, our rhododendrons do very good every year. This is a crab apple tree. So, and then we have our wisteria as well. So, other than that, I'm going to call it a day. Try to get this thing edited up and pushed up to you guys to see. Sorry I haven't done very many videos. I know I don't have very many followers, but sorry I haven't done that many. The I was really wanting to be doing this for the shop and the shop construction, but it's not going to happen this year. Uh, we're going to wait for a year again. It's just not right at the right time. And you know when things are the right time and when things are not. So we decided we're just going to go ahead and wait on it for a year and do things right. Save up some more money for it because it is a lot more money than I was anticipating. But it is what it is. So for now, I'm going to let you guys go. And thanks for watching. If you like what you've watched, uh, subscribe, comment below as well. And um, be sure to share this with, with somebody. So there you go. Have a good one. And for now, let me see. i got to wait for a minute. I have a motorcycle going by. Daddy and his kid. No helmets. Oh well. But anyway, life is an adventure. Then there's mine. This is the adventures of Jaws Jr. <laughs> Today was an adventure, let me tell you. Have a good one. See ya!